Hello everyone and welcome to this video. It's Lena Tien from datalena.com and in today's video tutorial, we are going to be talking about Binance multi-asset mode when trading features. All right. So what we are going to be looking at is what this multi-asset mode is all about, how, um, what you stand to gain, you know, when using multi-asset mode and most especially the advantages of trading BUSD pair. Okay, when you switch to the multi asset mode, and above all, I'll be showing you how to switch from the single asset mode, which is the default mode when you are trading features, okay, to um, this new option called the multi asset mode. I'll show you how to do this on the desktop, um, and then I'll show you using the web app, app, and then I'll show you how to do that on your app, okay, on your mobile app as well, using the Binance mobile app. All right. So if you are new to the channel and you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading, investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you do gain any value from this video, do you know hit the thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others on social media. By the way, to be able to do all of these things, you need Binance account. Okay. If you don't have any account with Binance yet, then yeah. Um, there is need for you to sign up with the link I've made available in the comment section and in the video description. Okay, so you can use the link in the comment section or the video description to sign up for an account for yourself with Binance, and you have the chance of gaining um, up to 10% discount on fees when you are trading on Binance features. All right, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. So, first and foremost, what is Binance multi asset mode. All right, so Binance multi asset mode is um, actually a new trading um, feature that Binance just introduced that allow you, as a user of the Binance exchange, to trade various crypto features contract using either USDT or BUSD. Now, when it comes to this multi asset mode, you don't really need to have your money. Okay, uh, let's say you have your funds in USDT. You don't need to start converting those funds and paying fee from USDT to BUSD before you can trade BUSD pair. All right, so I can have my funds in USDT. Okay, and then I can equally trade BUSD pair in as much as I am on that multi asset mode. I can trade BUSD pair with that same funds that I have on my usdt all right so that is a simple explanation to what multi-asset mode is all about and this way you stand the chance of paying you know a lower fee and many other advantages that come with you trading busd pair so usually if you are trading on the single asset mode you need to convert your funds okay your usdt to busd if you want to trade any busd pair but right now if you switched from the single asset mode which is the default mode okay to the multi asset mode you don't need to do that your funds can be in usdt and you can trade across busd pair and usdt pairs okay so that is basically what the multi asset mode the binance multi asset mode is all about when you are trading features okay now what benefit do you stand to gain when using this mode Okay, there is always a, a cash for all of us, okay, who are users of this platform. So what do you stand to gain? I believe that is your next question. Now, what you stand to gain, what the, some of the benefits you get is, I think I mentioned this earlier, some of the benefits you get is that with the multi-asset mode, you can now share your margin, okay, across USDT margin and BUSD margin contract to experience more diverse, uh, you know, flavor of trading. So you don't really need to start converting and paying fee, converting USDT to BUSD before you can trade pairs. So you can seamlessly just switch between any of these pairs and, you know, without any issue. Okay. So you can make profit on any of the contract, whether it is BUSD or USDT. Okay. Another benefit of using the multi-asset mode is that multi-asset mode on Binance Facial can, you know, be used to edge against capitulations under one account now what that means is that you can take advantage of arbitrage opportunity automatically protecting yourself from liquidation okay and much more i will explain more on this as we go on once i show you i, I switch to 
the multi asset mode okay then another benefit you should be aware of now because you can seamlessly switch between usdt and busd mode whenever you are trading the busd any busd pair okay you stand the chance of you know paying a very lower fee and mo in most cases um you pay um fee as low as as a maker you pay as low as zero minus zero point zero one percent okay and then as a ticker in the market you pay around zero point zero one seven percent this is when you are trading the busd pair all right so those are some of the things you stand to gain advantages of always trading busd pair in fact as a recommendation what i would recommend here is that you should be trading more of busd pair than just trading usdt pair because once you are on the multi-asset mode it doesn't mean whether your funds are in busd or they are in usdt pair okay what the multi-asset mode allows you to do is that you can trade any of this you can switch to any of this without you know bordering of converting your funds and the rest so one of the advantages you stand to gain as um you know trading busd pair is that you pay a very low fee as i mentioned earlier you can pay um as a maker in the market you pay between minus okay which is in most cases by now pays you as a maker in the market and then you pay uh, around 0.017 percent as a taker in the market all right as against you know trading usdt pairs and so on okay so you have a lot of advantages okay most especially when you are holding busd in your um account okay as a binance user as if you are, remember busd is the binance owns a native token so whether you are holding busd or bnb you stand to gain a lot so if you hold busd okay um you have a strong guarantee of its value the value of one busd okay is paired to the us dollar which is at you know one to one ratio so you don't have anything to fear all right so in summary when you are trading under the multi-asset mode when you are trading the busd margin contract okay um you are rest assured of you know more cost savings benefit okay so you don't pay fee at all in most cases and in most cases you pay lesser than what is expected okay so if you're a busd holder not only can you you know save on trading fees in the spot and margin markets okay but you can also save on fees trading the binance and futures contract okay so with the multi-asset mode you can trade usdt contract without converting them to usdt as i said earlier and then this gives you the flexibility to open positions in both usdt and busd contract whenever opportunity arises okay so these are some of the benefit of using uh, you know the multi-asset mode which i will advise you if you already have a binance account and you're a futures trader there is need for you to just switch to the multi-asset mode it will benefit you more all right then if you don't have an account already with binance just sign up with the link below okay and you know try to follow my channel subscribe to the channel you know follow the videos that i post here and you'll be able to start trading features on your own starting with as low as 10 busd or 10 dollars all right so to start with um i will start with the app okay we'll switch from the single asset mode i'll show you how to switch from single asset mode to the multi asset mode and then after that we'll switch to the web version on you know the desktop and i will quickly show you how to switch from single asset mode to the multi asset mode all right so to start with first you need to come in here to your features trade okay on here on the app you see where it says features you want to click on it so when we we'll click on our features you'll see an icon at the top this three dotted dots here at the top right okay this three dot at the top top right so we are going to click on those three dots if i click on it this dialog box open up okay here you see all of the different ways you can you know trade your binance features account so here our concern in this video is this preference okay so we want to click on the, that preference icon so we click on the preferences and once we click on the preferences you see where it says asset mode 
okay my account is on a single mode all right so for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you so it's on a single asset mode so we need to switch it to multi asset mode so that we stand to gain all of this benefit of not paying too much fee and always um the easy conversion or easy trading of both busd and usdt pay all right so if i click on the asset mode it comes up this way okay it comes up this way and um, this is the single asset mode which is the default mode we are trading with so we can now switch from this to the multi asset mode by just checking this icon here all right one thing i want you to note here is that um as it's stated here okay as it is stated here the multi asset mode only support cross margin okay meaning that if you are trading features on the multi asset mode you only be trading cross margin all right now the difference between cross margin i've been saying this in all of my videos between cross margin and isolated mode is that on isolated mode you are only risking that money that you have decided to raise okay if what you are trading with is ten dollars it is only that ten dollars you are risking but on the cross margin okay the cross margin mode if i have one hundred thousand dollars in my cross margin account okay it means that i'm trading with every of the money that i have there all right and if i am liquidated i'm losing everything okay but trading on cross margin mode probably gives you an ample opportunity of not being liquidated in most cases because it gives you because you are trading with the whole balance it gives you a, a larger margin all right to start holding a position in the market for a longer time so the multi asset mode only supports um cross margin mode so it means that you can only be trading cross mode cross margin mode not isolated so if you are okay with that just go ahead and check this and you are good to go you are now you know successfully switched to the multi asset mode and you can be trading between busd pairs and usdt pairs all right that is how you do that you do that on the app so on the web all right let me open up my desktop so on the web to access the features trading interface we just go ahead and then click on derivatives okay and then we can go to where it says usdm features just go ahead and click on it and that will take us to the features interface once we click on it we'll be brought to this interface which is the features trading interface all right so once we are here on the future interface okay um one thing i want to before i switch to the multi-asset mode one thing i want you to pay attention to is the balance i have here in usdt all right so this is what i have in usdt and with this i can't trade any pair any busd pair to show you that right now i am on the btc um usdt perpetual if i try to type in here btc so once I type in BTC here, I have BTC USD, okay, BTC BUSD, BTC USDT. So if I go and select on the BTC BUSD here, you'll see that my available BUSD is zero. All right, this is because I am trading on the single asset mode. So if I switch to the multi asset mode, I should be able to, you know, share this balance between USDT and then BUSD, okay. So right now that we are on the zero um, BUSD um, tab, if I go to switch your account, okay, your official account from single asset mode to multi asset mode on the desktop, all you just need to do on the official interface here, you go to this icon here. This is your preferences icon, okay? These two um, arrows facing each other. So I'll go ahead and click on this line here. Okay, once I click on the line, you want to come in here to preference. So click on preference. And once you click on preference you want to scroll down here to where it says asset mode click on the asset mode and then here you have the multi asset mode okay so with the single asset mode you can trade both you know um cross margin and isolated margin mode but with this uh, multi asset mode you can only this only support the cross margin mode okay i've explained this before so if i go ahead and click on the multi asset mode automatically you see that it has you know adjusted to the multi asset mode so if i close this dialog box here you now see that we now have available busd okay so we now have some funds on our busd account if i go back and switch to btc um usdt perpetual you see that it is sharing these funds between my usdt account and then my busd account 
okay so what this simply means is that i can open a position in busd let's say you know to even edge the market i can open a long position in usdt and then i can equally open a short position in busd all right so these are some of the advantages that you stand to gain for instance if i have talked about edging before if you have not seen that video maybe i will leave the link in the video description let's say i am no, I long this market, the USD, the um, BTC USDT market at let's say forty thousand. Okay, I open a long position, and then all of a sudden the market start going against me. Okay, so instead of losing completely in the market, what I can do, okay, is to edge the market by opening a short position, and I can open this short position in BUSD. All right, I can open this short position in BUSD by just you know in order to lock in my profit. At a certain point i can just open so i can open both a long and short position at the same time okay i can open both the long and short position at the same time with the edging mode so these are some of the advantages you stand to gain some of the benefits you stand to gain you know trading um with the multi asset mode so as i've showed you just go ahead and try it out and then if you have any difficulty always leave a comment below and i'll see how best i can attend to that okay so if you want to learn more about trading about binance you want to join my weekly zoom meeting link to join my telegram group will be in the video description and basically that is all i have for you and one best tip for you before i leave okay before i end this video is that if you are trading on binance okay always consider trading busd pairs okay always consider trading busd pair whether you want to trade btc you want to trade ethereum always consider have enough of busd in your account in your binance wallet and you stand a chance okay to gain more benefit from the binance platform that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you guys in the next video